Hello, I'm Jamie Gallagher and I'm from the University of Glasgow in Scotland and you're all looking at me and thinking one thing. Oh, he's hot. And you're right, I'm radiating heat all the time. In fact, we all are. Even when we're sleeping, we're giving off the same amount of energy as one of those old-fashioned 50 watt bulbs. Useless wasted energy. And that's where my PhD steps in. Because I study thermoelectronics. What does that mean? Well, thermo, it's about temperature. And in particular, it's about temperature differences. Hot sides and cold sides. Electronics, it's about producing electricity. So what we have is a temperature difference producing electricity. So how does this work? Well, if we take a thermoelectronic device and we crack it open, inside you'll see a hundred or so little cubes. And these are made up of semiconductors. One is an N-type semiconductor and one is a P-type. We can think of an N-type semiconductor as a material that has too many electrons. And a P-type has missing electrons and we call these positive holes. Now, if we heat the device from underneath, then the electrons in the N-type semiconductor diffuse away from the hot side. The positive holes diffuse away from the hot side. So if we pair these up, then heating them from underneath, we have a net negative flow, a flow of electricity. So as long as we keep one side hot and one side cold, we'll continue to produce electricity. And these devices already work. In fact, it's what powers the Voyager space probe, which has just recently left our solar system. And also, more recently, the rover project exploring the surface of Mars. These are both powered by thermoelectronics. They were sent up with a red-hot nuclear source, and that, compared to the coldness of space, produces electricity and powers the onboard computers. So, if they already work, what do I do? Well, I try and make them a little bit better. Instead of having these little cubes, I try and shrink them down. Instead of cubes, we can have nanowires. They work slightly differently at that, that scale, and they work a little bit better. They're more efficient. And also, they're smaller. We can fit more in. So we can start having more functionality and start putting them lots and lots of places. We've started including them in newer models of cars, but also the small ones can go inside computers, scavenge waste heat, produce electricity. Also into the fabric of the clothes that we wear. So could we, just by walking around, power our phone? Well, no. Not just yet, anyway. But I'm not finished my PhD just yet either.